Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, I'm Brittany. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. So today we're filming a very exciting video. We're going to be doing a full face using hot new makeup that's kind of like hyped up. I'm going to be using a lot of the stuff that I've previously hauled in my past two hauls. So if you haven't seen those, I will have it linked in the cards and also in the description so you could watch the haul videos first. But I also threw in some stuff that I've gotten recently. So it's just a whole bunch of like new makeup that we're gonna be trying on my face today. So if you guys want to see this video, let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, so I am looking rough as you guys can see. So the first thing we're gonna be trying today is a sample. This is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I really wanted to try this out. It like really drew me in, but this baby's $80 and that's like a lot for me for a moisturizer. So I decided to get a sample first and I've been using it ever since I got it and I hate to say it, but I really do like it. So this is what it looks like. It's this purple cream. As you guys can see, I used a lot of it already. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like prep my skin with this. It smells really good. It smells just like all her other like skincare products. And I wanted to try this just because I didn't like the dewy skin mist that everybody loves. And so when I saw that she was like creating a moisturizer, I thought it would be better for me just because I like to kind of plump and hydrate the skin before I start makeup. And I don't know, I just wasn't into the spray. It feels so good on my skin right now because my skin feels very dry. Okay guys, for the next product, I have another sample. I know I'm cheap and I get a lot of samples, but don't worry, I have some full size products in here. Um, but this is the Kapari, um, what is it called? Let me look it up. So it's the Kapari Starry Eye Balm. So it kind of reminds me of the Becca, like under eye balm. I have it right here, where is she? This one right here, and this has caffeine just like this one, but this one is infused with like coconut oil. So it says that it's an eye balm that nourishes, hydrates, while coconut oil delivers a dose of caffeine to depuff, and it illuminates with natural pearlescent minerals and soothes tired eyes, which I have today. I'm very, very tired. And so my friend at work recommended this, and so I went ahead and got a sample. Hi, Jada, if you're watching. What's up, girl? Ugh. I should have opened this before I used the moisturizer. Mm. Okay, got it. So this retails for $28 and you can find it at Ulta and it is new. So this is what the consistency looks like. And as you guys can see, it's like a salmon-y color. Yeah, and she said it just like really left your under eyes really hydrated and ready for concealer. Ooh, she felt thick and oily. Oh my gosh, a little bit goes a long way. I'm just gonna take some of this from this side and put it on this side. I apologize in advance if you guys hear airplanes. Like we don't even live next to the airport, but for some reason in every video, airplanes wanna be flying around. Okay, so now my skin is nice and prepped and dewy. As you guys can see, that moisturizer gives you like a nice glow, but it doesn't break you out, which I like because I was kind of afraid that it would break me out because it's kind of more of a heavier cream, but I have been using it at night and during the day and I haven't had any problems. As for the under eye Kapari thing, it feels really nice under my eyes, but it does feel a little bit oily. So I'm scared that if it gets in my pores down here, I might break out, we shall see. Okay, and now I'm gonna move on to my brows. And today I'm gonna be using my new Jeffree Star brushes. I have been trying these out already and I definitely wanna give you guys my thoughts on them. For my brows, I've actually been loving this one from the Jeffree Star collection. It comes with a little spoolie on the end. I hate that I got like the pink all dirty. It looks ugly now but it did look really, really cute when it was clean. And then it comes with this angled side, which I've been loving to fill in my brows with. And I just use this with my dip brow pomade. I just like this to go ahead and fill in my brows. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this part off camera because it's really boring. So I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so my brows are now on and for foundation today, we're gonna be using a new one. It's another sample, but don't worry guys. The rest of the products are full size products, but I got some samples of the new It Cosmetics Confidence Foundation and I really wanted to try it out. I've been trying it out for a week now and I definitely have some thoughts on it. Um, so I wanted 
wanted to show it on camera with you guys. And so the sample that I got was light sand and it seems to be a pretty good match. Um, I don't want to try it with the primer today just because last time I used it with a gripping primer and all these like little white balls were all over the foundation. And it was so weird, like they were literally like hard white balls that you could take off your face. It sounds so wrong, but it was really weird and I did not like that about the foundation. And so I don't know if it was the primer or if it's just how the foundation is. So today I'm just going to be trying it with the moisturizer only. Now I have seen some other reviews on it and people say when you use it with like a damp sponge, the balls happen. So... Oh my gosh, that sounds so bad. And these airplanes, man, they're gonna drive me nuts. But anyway, so if the sponge doesn't work out, I'm gonna try it with this new Jeffree Star foundation brush just because I haven't used this one yet and I wanna give it a go and see what I think. Usually I don't like brushes to apply my foundation, but maybe I will this time, you never know. But before I apply my foundation, you guys already know that I like to correct my under eye veins first with my Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. So everything is applying on top of that Kapari eye balm really nicely. Like my under eyes are just really, really hydrated, which I like. But anyways, going in with that foundation and the sponge first, we're gonna see if it balls up. And then if it does, we'll try the brush. But other than the balling up, this foundation is really, really nice. It has like really good coverage and it has like a really pretty kind of natural matte finish. So that's why I'm trying to get it to work, but to be honest, I don't need a new foundation right now because I have so many. So if it doesn't work out, it won't be the end of the world. Oh my gosh, so it's doing it like right away. I have no idea why it does this. Now I know for sure it wasn't the primer. It is definitely the foundation. That is so freaking weird. Okay, so I'll go ahead and just like add a little bit more so you guys could see what I'm talking about. Hopefully it like doesn't ruin my whole foundation like Hopefully I could take them off once I do this, but I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. Like when you blend it in with the sponge, it's literally these like white flakes on your skin. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom you in so I could try to show you. Man guys, I don't think it's gonna pick up on camera, but like all right here, there's like little white specks all over the foundation. It's so freaking weird and I hate it. And they're literally like, glitter flex like they roll off your skin that is freaking weird okay let's try it with the brush all right so now i'm just gonna try to apply the foundation with a brush and see if that helps if not we're just gonna have to use another foundation because i do have work later and i don't want to go to work with balls on my face okay so this jeffree star brush is not that dense so hopefully it'll be okay for foundation we shall see whoa this is so full coverage you guys see that now this color looks a little light, but it does oxidize quite a bit, so it will match my skin later on. These Jeffree Star brushes are so soft, like they have really soft bristles, which I like. It feels so weird using a brush for foundation though, because I'm so used to a sponge. And as you guys can see, that moisturizer is definitely shining through, like it's giving me a nice glow. Okay, so some of the white dots are coming through a little bit, but it's definitely not as bad as like when you use the sponge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and deal with it for today. But honestly, I don't think I'll wear this again just for that reason. But as you guys can see, it has like a really beautiful finish and really good coverage. So it's so weird that it does that. I don't know if maybe the foundation contains silicone. I have no idea why it would ball up like that, but it's just really weird. I wish these brushes could just stay the color of the bristles, like stay pink even though you're like using them but that's impossible. <laughs> oh crap, you know what I just noticed, guys? I'm gonna have to use a sponge for my concealer and I hope that it doesn't ball up when I do that because I hate using a brush for my concealer. I have to use a sponge. So I'm definitely more dry on my forehead, so I see the foundation clinging to like my dry spots which I don't like the way that looks. So moving on to some concealer, I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. camo concealer in the shade Medium Peach. And I'm just gonna use this under my eyes and then also to highlight the center of my face. And I have just been loving this concealer. It has amazing coverage. And hopefully when I blend this in, I won't get balling up. 
Okay, so concealer is done and I'm really liking the way it's sitting under my eyes. Now, usually the e.l.f. concealer maybe is just a little bit drying and that Kapari eye balm is really helping it out. Like everything just looks really hydrated under my eyes. So, so far so good with that eye balm. But now for the next new product I'm going to be trying is from Too Faced. This is the Too Faced You're So Jelly Jelly Highlighter and I got the color Gilded Champagne. It's such cute packaging. So I'm going to be using this today before I like powder my face face look at the packaging i love the little gummy bears so cute so this is what the color looks like super duper pretty and i have been trying this out ever since i got it as well and i feel like the best way to apply this is with your finger i had used it with the like my damp sponge before and i feel like it just kind of balled up with the foundation and it just didn't go on as nicely as with your finger so i'll just tap it in with my finger until it blends all the way into my foundation and as you guys can see, it just gives you a really nice kind of dewy look. I try not to go too much in to where my pores are just because I don't want my pores to get exaggerated. So usually I don't have a problem with this highlighter when I use my fingers, but I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like turning dark and it's just like not blending with this foundation very nicely. And I honestly don't think it's the highlighter. I think it's the foundation just because this foundation just is not going good on my skin like everything's going wrong with it so i might have to start over guys because this is not looking good and it usually does i'm just gonna keep trying to blend it in with my finger because i don't want to start over because then like everything i've done has gone down the drain you know Ooh, that was a lot but do you guys see how like blinding that is and then I also like to apply some right here down the bridge of my nose. And this somewhat does dry down to like a powdery kind of finish. This smells so good. It makes me just like, uh, lick it. But that would probably be so gross and so bad for you. So I don't recommend. Okay, guys. So now that I have all the creams laid down the way I want, I'll go ahead and set my face like usual. And today I'm just going to be using my Too Faced Peach Perfect Matte Setting Powder just because I don't have a new one to try. And I'll try to avoid where I put that liquid highlighter because then I'll just kind of mattify it and then it beats the point of putting it there. And I'll just like kind of bake my T-zone area. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. Guys, I'm so sad. Do you guys see like what's happening on my face right now? Like it just looks so bad. It's like oxidizing in weird spots and it just looks patchy and weird. I'm just like not having a good base day, but I don't want to give up and I just like want to keep going. So we're, we're just going to ignore the fact that my face looks really bad and move on to the eyes. So I have two MAC paint pots to use, two fresh ones. And I think today I'm going to use Painterly just because I've never used this one before. And so I want to try it out. I've always used soft ochre, so I'm just going to save that for another day. And just look at this fresh paint pot. It looks so beautiful and nice. We're about to mess it up. And so I'm going to use this to go ahead and prime my eyes. And then I'm just taking that on this like Real Techniques kind of dense brush. And this is the more pinky undertoned one. And it still covers all those veins as you guys can see. Okay guys, so that primer looks really nice. I love the way it looks. So in that haul, I asked you guys what you guys wanted me to use on my eyes and the Friendcation palette from Desi and Katie and Dose of Colors definitely won. So I'm gonna be using this baby today. I'm super excited. It's so beautiful. So let me open her up. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do today, but I'm just gonna wing it. These colors are beautiful. I'm gonna start off with this like skin tone shade and I'm just gonna use that to set my MAC paint pot in place. And the reason why I'm setting it is because I have yet to get down the non-setting primer thing. I don't know. I just feel like my eyeshadow creases when I do that. So I will save that for another day. I'm just going to go ahead and set this in place today. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't have set it because my eyes are looking hella dry right now. Man, today is just not my day for makeup, is it? But I'm going to stay positive. Positive vibes positive vibes. Okay, we're just going to get through it. So for my transition shade, I'm going to use this like pinky mauve color. It's so beautiful. And I'm going to take that on one of the Morphe eye brushes. Now I don't like the eye brushes as much as I do the face brushes that come in the kit, but I'm still trying to give them like a go and see if I grow to love them. So these are really pigmented. So I'm going to make sure to tap off my brush quite a bit. 
and I'm just going to put this in my transitional area, so like in my crease and also the outer corner, and just kind of blow it out. Ooh, so this is blending really well on top of that primer. It seems like it just blends in with that shade that we already had down, that like mauve color. Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and skip back to the face really quick to buff away this bake. And this has to be my... Oh, there's a hair on it. What I was saying was, this has to be my favorite, favorite brush from the collection. It's like the powder brush, and I love it. It's so soft and so good for powder. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my Hourglass setting powder. I've been liking this for like the rest of my face, so I still like keep that glow going on. Um, but then I use it also to buff away like my bake. So I'll just take some on the brush, and then I'll just go ahead and set the rest of my face. And then while I'm doing that, I'll go ahead and buff away the bake. And look how soft this brush is. It's so nice. And I just lightly go over that um, cream highlight because I don't want to take away the intense glow that it's giving me. So for some reason, guys, like my under eye concealer is oxidizing like a lot. Like it looks so dark under there. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know if maybe it was just because like I had that Kapari eye balm underneath. Or maybe it was the powder, maybe it was a concealer, I don't know. But we're just gonna have a dark under eye today, okay? I look like I got punched in the eye, like, oh! So moving back onto the eyes, I'm gonna take the darkest brown in the palette, which is this one. And I'm gonna take it on another Morphe Jeffree Star brush. This one is more of like the smaller fluffy brush, but as you guys can see, it's like super flat. So I have yet to know what to use it for. So I'm gonna try it with this today. I'm gonna take that dark brown. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see how pigmented these are? They do have some powder kick up, but they kind of remind me of like the Anastasia eyeshadows, but maybe just a little bit less breakable, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna use this to deepen up this outer corner and then also just drag it into the crease just a tad bit. I feel like these eyeshadows kind of smell like coconut. Or it might be this. I think it's this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, if you have not seen Five Feet Apart yet, you need to watch that movie. I was bawling my eyes out and so was the rest of the theater. This is the first time I cried during like a movie at the theater, but literally everybody in the whole theater was tearing up. It was crazy. And some people were loud criers. Like you could hear people going, ah. like, it was hilarious. And you know how like when the movie's over, it stays dark a little bit in the theater and you it like gives you time to like wake up and like get out of your seat and everything. And um, for that movie, that did not happen. As soon as the movie was over, the lights turned on like that. And you could see everybody being like, oh God, I wasn't crying. I wasn't crying, like wiping their tears away. It was hilarious. Um, but that's all I'm going to say about the movie because I don't want to give it away, but it is just such a great movie. If you guys haven't heard of it, it has um, Cole Sprouse in it, which is part of why I wanted to watch the movie um, because, you know, everybody loves Jughead from Riverdale, so I had to watch it. And he's became such a good actor. I just, I love his acting. He's just like, you like feel what he feels, if that makes any sense. And so I'm just blending out that brown with that pink shade we first used. And everything is blending beautifully, even this really dark shade. I feel like all I really talk to you guys about is movies, but that's literally all we do for fun. Me and Christian is like, go watch new movies. So I love me some movies. Alrighty guys, so we could try some of these beautiful shimmer shades. I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease so we have some more room and I'll do that off camera so I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so my crease is now cut and I really want to use this pink color and this blue color. Oh, and this one too. Oh my gosh, I don't know which one to use. Okay, so I'm first going to start off with the pink like shimmery color and I'm just taking that dry on a, a flat Anastasia brush. And I'm just going to put this on the inner part of that cut crease. And I'm going to just place it on there all the way until I hit that cut crease on the top. We are getting a little bit of fallout. So these go on really metallic without it even being wet. So that shows you how great quality these Adults of Color eyeshadows are. And then taking the same brush but a different one, I'm going to go in with this deeper blue shade. It's like a kind of black and blue. It's so pretty. And I'm going to use this for the outer part of that cut crease. Ooh, that's really dark. It looks darker 
than it does in the pan. It almost pulls green too. It's really pretty though. I might go in with my finger for that one just because it's not going on the eye as nicely with a brush. Look how dark it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna press that right there on the outer part. And as you guys can see, I kind of left like a little space in the center. And that's because I wanna go in with this purpley blue shade right in the center just to kind of liven it up a little. So it's that one actually. And I'm just using the same brush to do that. I'm just gonna go right here in the center. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Okay, so this one and the pink one have a different formula than the like blackened blue shade. I feel like that one's more of like a chunky glitter and these other ones are more of like a foiled shade. Ooh, that is pretty, so pretty. And I'm just like going over that black color as well. I love it. Okay, so we're looking kind of harsh right now. So I'm gonna take that same pink shade we used at the beginning and I'm just gonna use this to kind of blend everything together. So overlapping these two colors. My lid is probably like, Brittany, what are you doing putting all these layers on your lid? You have so many wrinkles, but you know what? I don't care. I love me some sparkle and they all blend really nicely together. Like, do you see that beautiful color it's kind of making? Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. It kind of reminds me of a, like a Spider-Man snow cone, which I'm not mad at, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. All right, guys, so now that both lids have the shimmer on there, I'm gonna go ahead and take that dark brown that we used in the outer corner, and I'm just gonna use that to go ahead and define the cut crease like I always do. Ooh, that was kind of thick. Alrighty guys, because I'm extra, I'm gonna use another shimmer. I'm gonna take the lightest shimmer in the palette, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna pop this right here in this inner part. So it gives us that nice pop since we have like a lot of darker colors on the eyes. I want some life put back into the eyes. And then we could even take a little bit of that under the brow. Okay, and for the lower lash line, we're gonna keep it pretty dang simple i'm going in with that dark brown and then going in with that pink color we've been using and i'm just going to use that to go ahead and blend out the brown okay guys so that's all i'm going to do for my eyeshadow today i really like the way it turned out now i'm going to go ahead and move on to trying the next new product which is the anastasia beverly hills loose highlighter in the shade so hollywood i'm so excited this highlighter is so beautiful look at the packaging like yes and then i'm gonna apply that using my jeffree star highlighting brush and i'm just gonna go right on top of where we put that cream highlight and wait till you guys see this it is so blinding and so beautiful and i thought it would be too dark for me but i totally could get away with it especially with that um other highlighter underneath because it's a little bit lighter look at that oh yes i'd be looking like a glazed donut i can't wait to pick up the other one snowflake it looks so beautiful as well i can't wait to try that one but it just melts into the skin like i love the formula it just goes right into your foundation now i feel like on my nose it does cast a little bit of a shadow but I don't care. For the rest of the products, I don't have anything new, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my face off camera, and then also my eyes, do my eyeliner and lashes and everything, and then I'll be back on camera to try out some new lipsticks. Alrighty guys, so the last thing I have to try today are my new Dose of Color Lip It Up Satin Lipsticks. If you don't know already, these are on sale for only $10 because they are a hot buy at Ulta, so I would definitely pick them up. Um, and if you can't find them in store like the color that you want, you could order them online and I believe you might get free shipping. I don't know if it covers for the hot buys or not, but I just think it's a really good deal. So I don't know what color to use. I have two kind of nudie shades. So we have the color brulee, which is more of like a pink. And then we have the color toast. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with toast just because... I feel like this one might be a little bit too pink for this eye look. Okay, so I'm just gonna go straight in. I don't really feel like using a lip liner, so I'm just gonna go right on top. It's such a pretty color. And these do have that satin finish, so they're not gonna be completely matte. The formula reminds me a lot of the MAC matte lipsticks. You know how like they're not completely matte and they're more creamy? Um, that's what these remind me of, but they still kind of look matte on the lips. Okay guys, so that's gonna be everything for today's look. This just proves that if you stay positive throughout your makeup routine, 
it could turn out really nice. Like, I really like the finished look. I don't think anything looks horrible. Like, I really like it. How many times am I going to say like? So now I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts over these products. So starting off with that Tatcha moisturizer, I really, really do like it. But I honestly don't think it's worth the $80 price tag. Like, that's super duper pricey. I'm definitely going to keep trying it out and see what I think later on. Maybe for the VIB sale. Not the one coming up because that's only 15% off and I still feel like it's not enough. Maybe for, like, the November one when you have 20% off it would be worth it. I'm not sure. I just... I feel like that's really, really pricey for just like a moisturizer and all it does is moisturize your skin. And so moving on to the foundation, even though we got it to work and it looks nice right now, I don't think it's worth it. I definitely am not planning on picking up that foundation. It's just very finicky. It doesn't work with certain things and it's just, it's annoying basically. So I'm not going to pick that up. And as for everything else, I ended up really, really liking them. Like the Too Faced Jelly Highlighter, I love this. It looks really pretty on the skin. It looks more dewy. I feel like this would be better if you didn't bake with it though. Like if you put a lot of powder on, it kind of tends to cake up. So like if you're doing like a no makeup kind of fresh look, this would be really pretty on top of the skin. And as for like the Anastasia Loose Highlighter, I mean, I'm in love with this highlighter. It does look a little dark on me, but I feel like I could get away with it, so I keep wearing it. And I really want to pick up the lighter one. And as for the Joseph Color Lipsticks, I like it. I love the formula. It does actually have some shine to it now that I layered it up. It looks really pretty. Oh, and then for the Dose of Color Eyeshadow Palette, guys, this, I'm so happy I picked it up and got it 50% off because it's really, really nice. Now, as for the Jeffree Star brushes, I did really end up liking these. Like I said, the face brushes are definitely my favorite. I don't like care for the eyeshadow brushes a lot like I do like them but I feel like I will still gravitate towards my Morphe eyeshadow brushes the other ones that are like not the Jeffree Star ones that's confusing I don't know what I just said <laughs> but basically I like the face ones better as for the foundation brush though I like it like it's not the worst foundation brush I've used before but I do prefer my F80 from Sigma where is it this one right here, you could use code Brittany Raquel to save 10% on your Sigma brushes. So if you want to pick this one up, it's really worth it. I like this one a little bit better than the Jeffree Star one, but like I said, it's not a bad brush. And yeah, guys, I think that's everything I tried today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, Brittany Raquel, go ahead and subscribe. I do make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And like I said, I'm going to be doing a haul every single week. So let me know if you guys like these videos, like if you like me trying out the new stuff that I've hauled. And that is everything I have to say for this video. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!